Hey everyone, Meosity here, welcome back. Last time we unlocked, well, it seems to be the plot quest for Errant Daylight. This is something more than an eclipse. Something in the dunes below is causing this horrible occurrence. As you can see, um, whenever I pull up a menu, the day is, you know, daylight. But as soon as that happens, it's an eclipse. So that unlocked this, which seems to be Activate the Black Sun Beacon, something that is going to be maybe a boss. We have a few things to do before I go do that, so I don't think it's... A, I hope it's not a limited time event. I don't think it will be, because the ghoul mother appeared. I want to go get my stuff back, first of all. So I'm going to go do that. Then I have one more idea to throw at Levantine Enchantress, but it's going to make me... I mean, even before I would go and do this, I would want to get a little more gold. So depending upon how much we get from this, the the ghoul mother, uh, we'll see about either one going into the Levantine Enchantress or two leveling up another group just probably in the catacombs and getting some more gold because gold is good. That lets me have stuff to go do this and errant daylight. So we'll see what happens. But let's get to this first. I kind of want to see if I can actually get her again. I haven't done that in a hot minute, so we'll see what happens. Actually, before I do that, I want to make sure I didn't forget to put people in the workshop. All right. So let's go get us a ghoul mother. Now, I should have put on the rat, but I didn't think it would go off because of her debuff resistance, so we'll see what happens here. And hopefully I'm just going to do enough damage to take her out, because I'd really like to do that for once. And I wanted to try out the uh, set I got from the... Greater Sandworm? Yeah. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, and we're trying out Suffering for the first time in a while. So he's... Hank and a huge damage dealer right now. Let's see what we can do. So first, Rowan Dagger. That did almost nothing. <laughs> Rain of Sorrows, get them both bleeding. 16 around. XP8 again. That way the Crusader does more. I thought she was stealth for some reason. Thrives into the ground. Maybe that de stealthed me. Okay, owie. I'm gonna need to heal. And the Flag can't heal right now. Do extra damage to expiated, which we're not right now, so never mind. Find Grace. There we go. Really? Your strength is tested. I do not have a way of getting past it, right now at least, other than someone leaving her alone, and I forgot that doesn't take an action. Uh, pick to the face. No? Okay. Just trying to keep that grave robber alive. That's more important right now. 
strikes him down. Get that on her. That way we do more damage. Let's lunge, even though it's not going to do too much. She really wants Bassett's head there. At least it healed us. Notice she's not going for the mark at all. <laughs> Come on. Say on battle, do not fall. Gotta do what we gotta do. I don't think if we get her on this turn, we're gonna get her at all. So, do what we can. It's got a hefty bleed, so I'll give her that. And then she eats again, so we're definitely not getting her. So, lunge. Strike two. Not that did anything. And run away. At least we got the stuff back. That's all I gotta say. The task is too daunting for this one. Right, well, wars consist of a each of those was worth five thousand dark, so ten thousand, ten thousand two hundred, and some relics. I'd last think it's so we got a Kiriboli back, we got Snake Wine back, Idol of Purging, Impaling Pauldron. I forgot about that one. Surgical Gloves, Necrotic Crown for the Veiled, Medic's Graves for the Arbalist, and a Warrior's Cap. 5,250. Everyone's still level 5, that was. Perfectionist. Not sure how to say that one. Gains buffs on being crit healed. Profane, Shocker, Last Gasp, Tactless, and Second Wind. To return here after All so right, long, well, it is difficult to describe exactly throw what them to me. where they need to go. And because that's maxed out, Bassett can go to the medical ward because I don't plan on using her for a while. Check this. Level 4 Arbalist won't hurt. Since I kind of think I lost mine. So quaint as a fled stick can fell giants. And how am I looking for the gold? Oh! Errant Daylight did go away. Shoot! Now I know. So the next time that pops up, I need to do it. I did not think that was gonna go away. Well, I'm gonna have to keep going until I see that one again, because that seemed important. <laughs> and I thought I could leave that. That was, uh, that was my mistake. To be fair, a lot of those things that pop up usually stay around. Uh, so I do have to look at things really quick. Because there were a few heroes I wanted to use. I'm not sure... So that's the party I want to use is them right there. We we'll go to the training hall. And I'm down a pretty penny already. Is it O'Donnell I wanted to use? Yes, it was O'Donnell I wanted to use. Where's O'Donnell? There we go. So she's trained up. I actually wanted to use Illumination for this. Jubert is fine. Unless I wanted to grab Purge, which might actually be good for the boss, but I think I'm good. And we're good. Okay. And camping skills. He needs Reflection. Just in case. And probably Bloody Shroud. Amber infused powder, and it was O'Donnell, I said, so we're good there. So we have 12,000 to play with. 
And since I don't need to worry about that boss, I just want to do a cost thing right now. And we'll see what this looks like, see if it's viable. I would take those. I don't remember if I need the Ladonum at all, but. Realistically, I could take this group and be fine. I think realistically, I could do it and see what happens. But should I do it? Because if I fail this one, I'm in a really bad spot. I have the other trinket, though that would help things out. So let me throw on some trinkets and we'll see what we can do. All right, so shall we attempt this? Number nine. I am going to change things around a tad here. So we're going to have the leper doing his thing. We're going to have chop, hew, revenge, slimity. I'm wondering if I should knock back on... um the boss or use withstand on the boss instead of revenge just making the protection a bit easier and more stuff going at him and then he has uh, the nectar of the deep so more healing received and there's a chance that every time he gets hit actually i'm not even sure that's a chance with how that's worded um every time he's hit minus dodge minus speed so that might add up on the boss then on the Houndmaster, we're going to be running the usual Hound Rush, Hound Harry, Block, and Heal. Actually, I'm thinking of changing out uh, Hound Harry for the Blackjack on the boss, just to be able to stun things. And that way I'm just single targeting the boss, uh, Blood Feaster, so we do extra damage and crit on her. Uh, ranged skills have debuff mark chance, and then on range attack debuff target for bleed and blight resistance. That's not what I thought it was going to be. I'm wondering... I should change these out. I might want to change those out. That's not how I thought that worked for a second. I read that wrong or something. So let's, um, I know he's going to do a lot of damage as is and the blood feaster would add to that if we got her bleeding, but the group doesn't do that as is and he's the only one who would make her bleed. So now he has a chance of debuffing her blatant bleed resistance and he has a better debuff and mark skill chance. I don't think that works with... I'm totally going to redo this. Uh, the Vestal, O'Donnell, still has the Tome of Cleansing just for the Divine Grace Cure Blight. I doubt I'm going to need the Cure Stun throughout the rest of it, but she can also Cure Bleed on the way to the boss. Then Salacious Diary just up the amount of uh, healing done. She can expiate for the Leper if need be, which I'm thinking it can also debuff the target to do less damage. Um, then I'm thinking on the boss, I'm going to change out Dazzling Light for Illumination to debuff the dodge. Then a bunch of healing for Chatwood here. We've gotten rid of a lot of her quirks there that make it so that she interacts with stuff. Uh, we have standard shot, smoke screen, change ammo, and patch up. So we're going to be changing between a lot of stuff. Um, particularly the stun resistance and bleed, I'm guessing. And then uh, mine's protection accuracy. I'm thinking I actually want to change that out for bombard later on uh, at the boss so that I have dodge and accuracy down. We'll see how that works. But for her, it might actually be useful to grab Lovingly Yours, because all of those are ranged hits, yes. And all of those have debuffs. So now that's a 155% base. That's good. And then her 100% restoration duration applied, so it's going to be two turns instead of one, I believe. And it's not going to heal for as much but it will also cure the bleed, which I believe is dealt by the Rattlers. I could be wrong there, but also dealt on the way there. So we'll see how this works. Probably my best bet I've had so far. The only other thing I can possibly think of is getting rid of the Leper in favor of Field Breaker, which would destroy the guard, which actually might be the better plan here, or getting a... Actually, I might do that. 
we'll see how this works instead. I, I think this will have a better that. All right. Um, feel like. Oh, you know what? The honing powders or the honing oils will get me a few buffs on the way to the boss. So let's do that, possibly at least. So let's let's go with this. This woman, this serpent is not to be underestimated. She takes no prisoners and leaves no survivors. Not only appointed by the vizier, she knows well of my, of our intentions. Aiding the Levantine Armada is secondary. To repel us from the reliquary is her true purpose. She poisons this world, as she would try to poison us. Seek out the snake's camp. Really wonder who trains all those snakes. And luxury. And how they don't eat each other. Alright, let's do this. Ah, oh, guard dog. Let's go Vestal. Smoke screen for minus protection, minus accuracy. Minus accuracy being the big point there. Here this way, let's get the protection going, or the blocks. And then just for the minus damage on someone. We're good. Ritual retreat, he goes back. All head advance, he goes forward. It's a thing. He gets plus protection from that. No one is guarded. But we will just pierce to go through the protection, I suppose. Down before they uh, do Samsara life death. Yeah. Of course, we can break that guard though in a few different ways. So let's do that. Dazzling light. Do we get the stun? No, we don't. Do I want the armor piercing? I suppose. I suppose. Gonna need to interlude then death, I believe. Break that. Very nice crit. Didn't think it could crit that high, to be honest. Now she's out of range. So her bam on the front. How the rush. Of course this is. And here's the problem. I need to stun her. Against the light. Them. Our I think it's a guy. Before. Keep thinking it's a guy. Keep saying her. I don't know why. I know it's a guy. It's just a reflex. I do need to um, heal the Hound Master on his turn. Or on the Vestal's turn. Okay, so 8 bleed, 11. The smart thing to do would be to impale because that would take out the turp. Then I can. I can't even lick wounds on that. So what would I even do? I can't do anything other than move back. But, and then I don't even hit who I need. That was not a good use of that move.
with some stress. I really need to take out the gin too. There we go. Get the back row, 80 and 75, or I can puncture and bring them forward, which might be more of an issue. That heals bleed, not blight, and honestly, I'm not sure what she can do. Judgment, okay. I he had protection for some reason. Bleed and blade out? Yes. Disappointment. Just to get stressed out. <laughs> Twelve damage plus whatever this hits for. Strike true. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> this was part of my problem last time. Is I had a horrible luck with some of these hits. Now he's gonna be locked in row one. All right, let's heal. Heal. And that should like take him to full health. I can't believe that took eight turns. Alright, there we go. that and then be on the way use the horning oil or battles okay one make sure it wasn't until camp or something like that which we will use a firewood here togetherness is a rare um in this place and yeah, we're going to feast for the stress, because we have the food. That's why I brought it. Hound's Watch. Scouting Chance. Clean Musket. And we're going to bless. The darkness will not impede us. We are the flame. Oh, he is new. 256 health. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Accuracy and damage of torch above 75. That comes from him. Uh, we're going to get rid of the friar first, so we're going to pull him. Should prep round doy. Minus protection on the big guy. That didn't land. He has a lot of debuff resistance. We follow the ever oh. Okay, well, we can still deal. What's 
the bleed chance 140 I'm not gonna get that but we can I suppose knock off the Aegis then here we heal up. Tempted to use the dog tweets. No, um. Right, uh, yeah. The fryer, fryer, fryer first. The guy. Yeah, that's mass, alright. You don't need to pull you. Punisher. Got a bleed. Guard broken. Don't need to armor pierce to change ammo. Minus 35% damage. Minus stun resistance. Spectacular. Well, so much for that. Can we stun him? No. He's XP aided though, so I'm just gonna move back for now so she can use her other heal if need be. And I have a big hit. Get more Aegises. Expiated heat. Because both of them took a bigger hit. We can bleed him. But we also need to armor pin him. So I would hit him for 22 of 44, or minus 30% of that would be 33 plus a bleed of 10 points around. We'll do that. He has massive regen right now. Stand tall. He must recover. Oh. We don't have stock strike. Lovely. Unbrush. Board by one. that XB8 going. Back by two. Okay. For now. Got the shield breaker. by one. There we go. Hound Rush, get him bleeding, please. 18 around. Act quickly. This life will not be wasted. I'm not sure what that thing by part the tide means, but I thought I was guarding there, and I am not. So, call upon the... You can only hit the first two no matter what. Okay. So I'm going to have these two stay there for now. I'm going to bleed him. Actually, this is a little wonky. Devastation. Need around again. Really wish she was the one going. Or he was the one going, so I could have done that in a different order. Mm. 
This should heal. At least I thought. Do that for now. This Aegis is going. He's going to probably do be gone. So we need to AoE heal. Step in good health. Please bleed. Nope. There we go. We're getting somewhere. Man, the sun shell hurts. If he has seven health, I'm gonna take the time to do this. That was the wrong move. I'm guessing the shield breaker is gonna go though before him. Really taking that gamble. The bones are mended. There we go. Okay. Ooh. is much to do. All right. I know I could have used the honing oil on them there, but it really didn't feel like it was going to be useful on a few of those people. So. That is default order, right? Yes. The glory will come. For now, there is labor. They can eat. We're gonna torch. Map? No. And I'm guessing all the way in the bottom right there. That should be right. I step lightly. Really wish I would scout. More than our enemies could attempt to impede us. I am sure the previous owner will not mind. There we go. All right. Room battle or nothing. Hallway battle with that. Um. I feel okay. Giving him one of these. I can s get a spare one of those. That's for sure. And then pouring oil on him. <laughs> okay, serpent's way. more to expiated stuff if mark the heretic does that okay good to know um passive smoke screen is what we want got it 
All right, so I'm going to take out the deadbolt first. And he got into the right position. Fortune. Does the block not work if he moves spots? That'll get rid of his Aegis and potentially heal us. Armor piercing. Bolt bleeds out. I feel like I should probably go for him, but I don't know. Let's get the Judicator. I don't want him doing some shenanigans on me. Once the blood flows, the end has begun. We must care for one another. See, that one doesn't hurt as bad. They can get the Judicator, so Shieldbreaker is going to go at the Sensual and miss. Standard shot, armor piercing. He's down. And now we just have to tear out another Sun Shawl. Which could be bad. Stand tall. We fight on. Let's guard just in case. There we go. Bleed? No. We're not gonna stun him, so let's do this because it'll heal us and do a little bit of damage to him. Here's. This is ripping through him faster without the lead. I'm just doing armor piercing. Yeah. So. Let's do a bigger heal on the shield breaker. Although AoE probably would have been better. No hit. She needs to go back. We heal. Pierce. He's got 43 left, which we can maybe take out. He took himself out. Okay. No war can feel better about that. No tree cannot be fed. Alt. And we're gonna be stressed out. Mm-hmm. the chances directory nice gonna leave that alone for now come back to it
put a little stress on the most stressed person. And survey says there's a fight on the way to the boss. Okay, so here's the plan. I was thinking about vamoosing out of here and abandoning the quest because we're high on stress, we're a little hurt. And I wasn't sure that going into there with a afflicted shield breaker was a good idea. But I came up with a plan. We still have a firewood. So we're going to use it. Huddle together. Not in the way I originally intended, but we're going to use it. So, first we have to sanctuary for the stress. And we have to... Pray for the stress for all companions, that way stress goes a little lower. Then with Chatwood, because we still want the debuffing, uh, we're going to get the accuracy up with a uh, clean musket and then we're going to amber infuse powder. Uh, not what I would have preferred to do, but it's what we got. All right. Got one battle on the way there. It's not a sunshell. We're good. All right. Super this way. And take the mark, although that will be our first target, so let's honestly judgment the Rakshasa for now. So he'll be second target. There we go, we tricked him into guarding that. Then standard shot. Just double checking this again. I want the full damage on it. And actually, we're in prep round, so smoke screen. And then we're going to get Lick Wounds going for the heal over time, just in case something hurts us on the next few rounds. And we're going to puncture, bringing him forward a little bit. Making sure he can't be guarded. Also making sure he can't do anything too bad. Uh, try to stun the grunt so he doesn't do any damage. Nope. And there's our stress. Can't take much more of that. That's why Rakshasa comes next. and bleed takes him out. So then, standard shot. I'm actually gonna try something here. First stun, no. Third break, no. Lock, okay. Light, not great. He did that before I got to do anything lovely. And now we're stressed again for the fight, which isn't great. But we can take out the Rakshasa. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to try to stun him or something. Actually, I bet we can guard him, and then all the stuff goes at the hut. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> that helps a little bit. Get the blight off. Take 
him out. Still need the Rakshasa down before he goes into that. Got a bit of a timer going on now. Let me stun him. There we go. That cure is stun. I didn't know that cured stun. I knew it cured bleed and blight. Let's pull. That way he's in range for the musketeer. I'd rather get him down. AoE. There. Not who I'd wanted down, but it's something. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. 99 out of 100. I, I have to think about this. Can of a great many battles continue. Leave the rest. All right. Alum sensors before I go in. Well, I don't have a food check or anything like that. Use those. Don't need the honing oil as of right now. Might need them for the snakes. Alright. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I said I wanted to change a few things around here. I'm gonna want to change ammo still. Still want the heal. I still want to change ammo. I still want standard shot. But bombard just for a minus dodge and accuracy. So. Alright, let's see how this works. I know I'm giving up prep round stuff on the musketeer. I'm hoping it pays off. Ha! Here she resides in the den of serpents. Stain her many luxuries with blood. Okay. So the rattlers do have protection. Good to know, Serpent Swear. Judgment that should get rid of her Aegises when she decides to do that. Guard just so that stress isn't a thing there. And maybe break. Actually, that breaks guard too. Good to know. Change ammo, change ammo, minus dodge. Right, let's see if we can't pull this off. Guard broke. Should have uh, put re reflex serum on, but that's fine. Oh, 
bombard for the minus dodge. Guard break's already gone. <laughs> Illumination. That's a miss. Alright, can we hit her? No debuff. Yeah, let's pop her. Doggy treat. Hound rush. That did the illuminations thing. Do not wait. The fight goes on. Yikes. Oh. Guard broke. Once again, forgot the reflex serum. I'm going to heal on the Vestal, so we're going to standard shot. Feel like that should stun her. Snakes are getting to hurt. Harden yourself. This Yikes. Come on, fallacy. Here's the bleed, at least. Not sure that blights not going to take him out, though, or back to death door, you know? Right, um... There we go. Anti-venom, reflex serum. Pound rush. Guarded the wrong one. Good on you. That's a miss. I love Kiraboli. It's a bat by one. All right. We're going to heal instead of debuffing. I can get this off, I can stun her again. Probably. Okay, so 150% and minus accuracy. No stun. Well, a 
lot later than I thought it would be. Madness out. That's good, right? Bitch. AoE heal. Keep people on their feet. Anti-venom. Um, I'm not gonna blackjack again, so we're going to dog treat. Hound rush. Lead, I'm gonna be happy, otherwise that's what it is. Can't pierce, so we're gonna puncture and pull her. Hopefully getting an Aegis. Can't hit her with standard. I don't want to patch up, so we're gonna bombard to get some damage on and the debuffs. You can hit. Six health, five health. How much further can one continue at this rate? Wounds and fatigue are mounting. Illumination might take her out. Illuminate. <laughs> oh, that went so much better than I thought it would. Another skirmish, another step forward. I'll take what we can. I'm actually gonna go back to the sarcophagus. The fear room is back. I don't see a fight on the way back. Whoopsies. Let me have those. Trap, but uh, we can disable it. I believe shovel fourteen dark and ruby, and then no challenge shovel. And I'm not gonna mess with that. All right. I'm just happy that got done. So, 16,500 treasure. We got the Matal. We got the Fang of the Armada, finally, which is the flight chance and plus a flight amount applied to 11 team, which can be really good to make on the group I go with. Surprise Serpent Head, which is blight resistance on monster kill, gain one block. It's kind of really good depending on how I fight with it. 15,500 treasure. So, almost everyone hit level 6 except Chatwood. Bisk Taker, which makes sense depending on how you see that fight. Mercurial, which is for minus virtue chance. We can get rid of it. And no one cheat. Rest deeply here. We must be at our So first. let's take a look here. Only things I know about now are that one fight that kind of popped up. I'm gonna have to wait for it to come back because it was a like event. Otherwise, it seems like back to leveling people up, having a little fun and going into these champion level things because I know that there are a lot of new champion level stuff put in. So we will definitely go exploring for those soon now while waiting for the um, event that I missed. So we'll uh, do that and pick up from there. So as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and please have a good one.